Afternoon. I'm Mary Calvey. And I'm Chris Raggy. A chain reaction crash on the Tappan Zee Bridge leaves drivers stranded for hours. Right now, just one lane is open. CBS News' Elise Finch is live in Tarrytown with more on this breaking news. Elise. Chris, Mary, we are here in a municipal parking lot in Terrytown. We're not too far from the Metro North Station in Terrytown, so people in this area will know where that is. We have a great view of the Mario Cuomo Bridge, and I'm happy to say, as just a couple of seconds ago, we actually started to see traffic move on both sides of the bridge. That's the good news. But this all started around 9:30 this morning, and we have some video to show you. A tractor trailer headed from Westchester to Rockland jackknifed, and it caused a chain reaction, as you mentioned. Total traffic says at least 20 vehicles were involved in a series of accidents all across the span, and it was all Rockland County bound. Now, there are reports of multiple injuries. One woman was reportedly trapped in a damaged car and removed by Good Samaritans. It's unclear how serious her injuries are or any of the other injuries sustained by people involved in the no numerous accidents on the bridge. Now, for about two hours, all lanes were shut down in both directions, and traffic, of course, is backed up for quite a ways leading up to the bridge on both sides. Now, we spoke to drivers who were stuck in that traffic, and this is what they had to say. My brother called me, and uh, he said, oh, the bridge is closed, but I never believe anything he said, so now I'm stuck here. Sitting for half an hour is one thing, but sitting for a couple hours, it's definitely screwing cool and it's going to be screwed up the day. Now, the New York State Police say ambulances and tow companies were on the scene working to remove the damaged vehicles. New York State Thruway Maintenance is also on the scene. Now, traffic to Westchester started moving first. At least one uh, lane was reopened southbound, and just a few seconds ago, a northbound lane uh, was reopened. I know it doesn't really look like those vehicles are moving, but we've sort of been keeping track of a FedEx truck that we can see here on the bridge, and it has at least in the past, uh, I would say, two minutes started to inch a little bit Forward. So obviously they have gotten some of those vehicles vehicles cleared and traffic is at least starting to move again. We are live in Terrytown. Elise Finch, CBS 2 News.